In this example, we're going to look at a robot called Walls, which can be quite tricky to handle. In this battle, Walls actually is from the sample package. So we select Walls, we add it, and we also select Track Fire, and we start the battle. As can be seen, Track Fire sits in the one place and just tracks it, while Walls travels around the walls and tries to destroy it. Now, Walls is actually an advanced robot, which is not permitted in Robocode. But the techniques it uses, even though it uses the advanced class, it uses basic robot functionality. So it is possible to create a robot that is like Walls and using the basic robot class. Trackfire, as you can see, has a problem with Walls because it just sticks to the walls and runs around and shoots off. So how can we combat this? Well, we have a solution. We're going to start a new battle. And we're going to remove track fire. And in the school bots, we're going to add a robot called wall killer. And start the battle. And we'll look at what wall killer does. Well, wall killer goes around anti-clockwise around the screen. While walls actually normally travels clockwise around the screen. Wall killer's job is to drive along and when it detects along the walls and to point its gun along by the wall itself and just shoot at tanks that exist along by the wall structure. So as you can see wall killer detects now here it's up against walls and it may or may not win and it does win. And let us look at the code for this. Robot editor file open school bots wall killer what wall killer does is it extends the normal robot and at the very start it figures out how much to move which is moved to the maximum possible size of the battlefield it turns left by doing a modulus 90 which means it divided by 90 so it wants to hit the wall bang on 90 degrees by doing a modulus calculation. It moves ahead the amount. It then turns the gun right 0 degrees so it's aligned by the wall. And then turns left and starts to travel around the wall in an anti-clockwise direction. If it hits a robot, it backs off. And if it sees a robot, fires a very powerful shot, which is type 6. So the most important part of the behavior is back here at the very start. We turn left so that we are going to head at 90 degrees, reach the wall exactly perpendicular. We then turn the gun right zero so it's aligned with the wall. And then we turn left 90 degrees and we travel around the wall as so to destroy any tank that exists along the wall. So this is one solution to allow you to get over that annoying problem of robot of ro robots that occupy walls. This concludes this tutorial.